Hi everyone, welcome to Find Your Flow. I'm Natalie and today I invite you to join me for this meditation for new beginnings or if you're practicing in real time, a springtime meditation. So hop onto your mat, find a comfy space, get your comfy clothes on, lift your hips a little bit higher and I will meet you there. So starting in your seat, any seat that works for you today, lift as high as you would like to. I'm on a bolster cushion. Just find whatever you have around the house. And if you'd rather do this practice lying down, then please do. Just be sure to support the head and neck. Use anything you might want underneath the backs of the legs to release tension in the lower back. And I'm going to use my Chevron Amethyst today to help promote calm. A dear friend gave it to me. So if you have anything that aids you in your meditation, please take that and then close down your eyes when you're ready or just soften your gaze towards the end of your nose. Just notice how it feels to be still. This might be the first time you've been still whilst being awake in a long time. And we'll start by taking a moment to truly thank ourselves for being here. The hard part's over. We've chosen this video. We've committed this time. Begin by listening to the natural rhythm of your breath. And just tune into the feeling of breathing in and breathing out. Notice where you feel the sensation of breathing most in your body. And now let your awareness open to noises in the space around you. But rather than labeling any sound, let them instead simply be vibrations. As you let your attention turn inwards. And if your mind is feeling particularly busy today, I invite you to find an equal count breath or samafriti. Breathing in for a count of three, four, five, maybe six. And breathing out for that same count. Still, all we're doing here is just breathing in awareness and letting ourselves arrive in this space. On your next inhale, smile. And as you exhale, imagine breathing out everything that's already happened during your day or week so far. But as we exhale and let go of what's been and gone, can we also take the time to honor and thank our past for being there for us to learn and grow from? Imagine breathing in peacefulness as you smile softly. Visualize little bubbles of air containing a sense of quiet and calm, traveling in through your nose to all parts of your body, filling it up completely. Exhale, continue to let go of that which has been and gone. And if you're practicing this in real time, spring is approaching. This new and fresh season is a great opportunity to make room for new wonderful things to happen in our lives. But really, we have the opportunity to do this at any moment. 
simply looking to the next moment that's right in front of us. And remember that we're all growing and changing each day. Every season, every month, every day bringing something new. Think about how during the winter months, certain flowers disappear only to come back to life stronger during the springtime. I invite you now to imagine yourself as a flower, ready to sprout from your bud. You've been hibernating all winter in a cozy shelter snuggled within the earth. And the earth has protected you all through the frosty winter months. But now, as spring or our new beginning approaches, the rain falls from the heavens and we soak up the water completely, renewing us and gently waking us up. Notice how, as the flower, we look forward to feeling the beautiful warmth of the sun once again, with all the freshness that our future has to hold. And eventually, we break through the bulb and start to grow into the bright, beautiful, proud flower that we're becoming. And this breaking through the bud is much like our lives. We choose new goals, new things to strive for, and work towards these things most days. And I invite you now to think about something new that you would like to do or achieve, or even just something that you'd like to leave behind as you enter a new moment or this new season. And then focus on that and imagine yourself growing into this just as the flower does and learning. And keep returning back to our breath, trying not to let ourselves dance too far away from where we are right now. Keep coming back to the next inhale and the next exhale and just go from there. And just as a flower comes back stronger each and every spring, we can too. Any moment is an opportunity to renew, to start again. Coming to find five more natural breaths here. And 
And when you're ready, three final breaths in through our nose, out through our mouth, sigh them out completely, letting go of anything that doesn't serve you. Gently wiggle the fingers and toes. Keep the gaze soft. As we bring the heel of the hands together, lifting up towards the heart. And then the little finger and thumb to touch, opening our three middle fingers wide, symbolizing the lotus flower. And how even something so beautiful can still rise and emerge from the muddy waters. Bringing the fingertips together as we bow our head towards our heart. I thank you for being here with me today. From my heart to yours, namaste. Namaste.